did you figure out for you, this is who I speak to and this is the problem that I solve? Absolutely. Great question. So true. First of all, it's figuring out like what I call, I went through this process. I use this now to help people called finding your unique intersections. I had a coach and mentor that helped me do this. And that's that point in 2017 where I was like, oh, health and fitness and storytelling and artists can actually go together in a really unique way. So that allowed me to carve out a lane of people that I could serve in a certain capacity. In terms of speaking, that is something that took me a while to learn. And it's something that's currently evolving, I would say. And I'll be honest with you, because I think that you say this in the book too, but a lot of what you say in the beginning of any speaker lab materials is establishing those categories that people speak to. And mine landed on associations. And that made so much more sense because I'm not the storytelling speaker that at this point in my career, I'll say, but maybe ever because of my lane that I've carved for myself and my personal unique experiences that give me my unique take on storytelling. I'm not at Coca-Cola corporate events talking to them. I'm at National Association of Realtors. I'm at U.S. Sailing. I'm at this Triangle Nonprofits, right? I'm at these groups of people who are one, trying to grow their communities and connect with other people. And that's a major result of good storytelling is growing and strengthening communities. 